Here we go again, day four of the Louis Vuitton Cup semi-final once again. A day in which a loss for Alingi Red Bull Racing or for American Magic will see them exit the semi-final and Ineos Britannia and Luna Rossa would go on to become the finalists. The first race, Ineos Britannia versus Alingi Red Bull Racing. Uh, Alingi got off well at the start, but a slow tack let Ineos past. And at the first mark, it was a six second margin to the British. But then a slow jibe by the British let Alingi through and got a better breeze as well and simply built a lead. You know, one minute and one second of the second mark, the third mark, and then going into gate five, Ineos off the foils, that was essentially that. And a win to the Swiss by 1 minute 23 seconds. They stayed alive, the scoreline going 4-2 in their battle. On then to American Magic versus Luna Rossa. The wins were a bit lighter, 8 to 9 knots. Luna Rossa uh, away well at the start, 47 second lead at the first mark. But the wind faded and then things became very tricky and both boats were sailing backwards and forwards across the course to stay on their foils but making a little headway down the track. American Magic off the foils, Luna Rossa sailed past. At the second mark it was a dead heat. Then approaching the third mark, American Magic cleverly managed to block Luna Rossa from the gate, sailed on through. Uh, in the next leg though, both of the boats off their foils, bobbing around, but it was the Americans in the lead who picked up a breeze first and sailed on through to a comfortable win with Luna Rossa being disqualified for sailing outside the course. Crunch time again for Alinghi Red Bull Racing in their battle with Ineos Britannia. The British were penalised for being early, uh, at, uh, sorry, for being late into the uh, start box. Early, I mean. You can hear the victory noises going on down there. Um, but they were 25 seconds ahead at the first mark. They managed to shake the penalty off, get ahead. There were a couple of dodgy, dodgy manoeuvres there by the British, but they managed to keep on the foils and 31 seconds ahead at the second mark and sailed on through untroubled to a 1 minute 10 victory over the Swiss, who are out of the America's Cup after an improving campaign, but one which just didn't quite get there in time. So, one semi-final battle decided, on to the last one, Luna Rossa versus American Magic. It was a close start. American Magic ahead, crossing in front, uh, seven seconds ahead at the top mark. There were a couple of lead changes. It was Luna Rossa by four seconds at the second. By the halfway mark, Luna Rossa by eight seconds. This was a close race all the way through until there was a bang as Luna Rossa crossed in front of American Magic. The, the tracking mechanism at the back of the mainsail broke. That was essentially their race done. They had to wait for American Magic to safely make it across the line, which they did. That scoreline now 4-3 to Luna Rossa. American Magic still in the hunt. And tomorrow the battle for the second final slot will go on.